Hey folks, in this video I'm going to quickly show how to transform static meshes into skeletal meshes. Now, in general, I recommend using your normal content creation software package to do your rigging. However, there are instances where you would save time by doing a quick conversion. And I'm going to show you two specific cases where this will help you. Thinking something like this, if you wanted to have this blow back and forth, or something like one of these lamps. If you wanted to convert something into a cloth simulation, that only needs one bone. I found this as well. You know, something very simple that could have a skeletal pivot. Now you can do this in other ways with like the physics constraint. Uh, but I am going to choose this and this as assets just to keep things fast. All right, so quickly, if you want to add just one bone to an asset, I'm going to hit Control B to select this in the content browser and right click. And we're going to go to Asset Actions and Export. I'm just going to export this to a folder. All right, we've got the folder selected. I've already exported it here. Now I'm going to hit Save and just export. Now I made a new folder called SK Props, and basically all you do is you re-import, and you're gonna to wanna to rename this, so this was the asset. And the step that you need to do is you just need to turn on Skeletal Mesh. And then since it already has the materials in the environment here, I am going to say material import method do not create materials. And that's all I really need when I click import. It's going to give some complaints about the bones, but I'll just say yeah. So when we open this up. Okay, and then let's just go to the skeleton tree tab. And we can see it's got one bone, which is all we need if we were going to then create cloth attributes to it. So we could just right click and start that process. Now, if you want to learn how to make a cloth simulation. I'll put a link into the notes below for my tutorial on how to make a cloth simulation. Now in Unreal 5.1, it's easier than ever, which is awesome. The next thing that I was going to do was going to show how to add just a super simple skeleton to something like this. So if we wanted a skeleton joint right here, let's go and do that. So I'm gonna hit Control B again, right click, Go to Asset Actions and Export once again. And so I've already done this. You can just choose all the defaults. Now let's tab over. I, I just edited this really quickly in Maya. All right, so we've brought this object into Maya. And I could show you how I removed this cord and separated all these pieces, but really the secret to this tutorial is to show how you can get a skeleton to generate from a parented mesh, and that's really the core. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna hide this, and we'll bring out this object. So you can see I've got this separated into one chunk, the lamp base, and this is the top object. Now, the key is that you need to have them separated, and then the other part is that you need to have this chunk where you want the bone to appear to show at the origin. So what do I mean by that? Well, then I take this object and I would put this at the origin. So I'm just going to hold down. I'm going to snap this to the to the origin, clear the, the transformations. So basically then once it's offset, you take this and this is this would be the child and this would be the parent Then I'm going to hit P and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to export it and it will generate a skeleton from here to here. That's it. So let's go back into Unreal and take a look. And I've brought that in, I've imported it. Now when I imported it, this is where the skeleton has come in. So here's the initial skeletal piece and here's the additional bone. And what does that allow us to do? It allows us to have that pivot and we could animate that in the sequencer. Uh, what else could we do? 
uh, you could turn it into a, a physics simulation as well, something like this, where you could then you know, knock it around if you needed to knock it over. All right, awesome. That pretty much wraps it up in terms of those two quick methods for generating skeletons. If you like this video and if it saves you time, give it a like and make sure you tune in for more weekly Unreal content.